Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today I'm going to show you how to import as well as export your designs through your Silhouette Studio library. Now, what I want to explain today, if you guys are new to Silhouette Studio, is if you have the basic model, which is the one that comes with your Silhouette Studio Silhouette machine, tie cutting machine if you will, for free, what you can do is you can use the DXF file. So if you guys don't know, you can't bring in SVGs with the basic edition, but you can bring in DXF files, which work exactly the same. Now, if it's a single color design, you can also bring in a PNG and it'll also work the same as well. So let's go ahead and head on over to designbundles.net. Over here on designbundles.net, I am in the plus member area and I'm searching for some designs that are only one plus credit. If you guys are new to designbundles.net, you guys can, for one, you can search for your files right up here at the top, or if you are a plus member, you could definitely come to the plus member membership and then you can search. We have tons and tons of designs that are only one plus credit. So that's where I'm working in today and I wanted to show you a couple cute designs here that I wanted to bring in. So for example this one right here my life is ruled by a furry overlord. You guys let me know down below are you guys a huge dog and cat fan? Which one are you? Here's a super cute dog one and I really love the cat one as well. So today since my house is overran by dog Doggies, doggos. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. I'm going to simply click add to account, confirm, download now, download now. So we're going to go ahead and bring this right over to our computer. You can see where it just jumped up right here. So as you guys can see, my file is right here. If it's still going, you'll see a little blue bar, but mine already downloaded. So from here, I can double click and you're going to see that we have a DXF file which is perfect for our Silhouette machine. Now, I wanna show y'all really quickly, how do we know if it has a DXF file? If we come back over to designbundles.net, you can actually search for only files that include a DXF file. You can do that right here on the left-hand side and you're just going to add a little tick mark here to the DXF and now it's only going to bring up files that are including that DXF. All right, so let's go ahead and head back over to Silhouette Studio. All right, so now that we're here in Silhouette Studio, there's a few ways to bring your design in, okay? Number one, you can do the drag and drop method. So I could open up that file, grab that DXF right here, and then drop it on my desktop, right? So on the canvas, if you will. So that's one way to bring this in. Super cute design, then I can grab it, move it around and work with it. So I can do that, or what I can do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new tab here. What we can do is we can go to the open folder here and then we can search for it. So I'm gonna go to downloads here and then I'm gonna click on the file we just got. And then as you can see, it's not highlighting SVG or the EPS because those two we cannot use with a basic edition. So we're gonna click on that DXF and click OK. So once again, we're able to just bring that right inside of here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on a third layer. So the next one you have is come up to the file right up here and then you can click on open and then we can search for that same file and click on it from here as well. Now, there is another one with the drag and drop. So say, for example, I wanna save it straight to my library. I would click on my library right here, and then I can go to the user designs, and then I'm going to drag and drop once again. So I'm gonna come down here, and then we're going to search for that file here. We're going to grab our file right here and we're just going to drag and drop it. This is going to take it straight into that library and just save it right away. All right, and you guys can see right here, obviously it's gonna highlight it right here so we can find it, but it's right here. And now it's saved right into my library. So that's how easy it is to import. Now, how do we export? While we're here in the library, what we can do is we can click on, I'm just gonna click on all of my files here. What we can do is see this little arrow here, I'm gonna click on it, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on library export. So what this is gonna do is this is going to export our files to our computer. So what you wanna do is create yourself a folder on your desktop. So when you go to browse computers, we would go to desktop here, and then I would choose the one that says Silhouette Studio, because I 
save this here. From there, we're gonna click OK, and it's going to save it. Now I'm gonna hit replace because I've already saved it once. And so now what we wanna do is hit export, and now it's gonna save it straight to that file. Now, depending on how many files you have, it may take a little bit of time to export those to your computer. Now, what is this great for? You can only really access it if you are doing, say for example, I went to upgrade my software or um, update it, or I've got a new computer. I have that file saved, so whenever it comes time to bringing it back in, I would come back to that arrow here, and I would go to Library Import. From here, I'd be able to click on it, and then I would be able to go choose it. So I'm going to go to Desktop, and then I would go to Silhouette Studio Files. At this point, I'd be able to click on it and hit OK, and it's going to import all of those right back inside of my Silhouette Studio Library. So I really hope that you guys have found this helpful. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.